Okay, today we're going to be doing some printing on some wooden panels. Okay, we're going to use a solvent based ink and a little bit different textures on the panels. And we can see the different variations of the printing. Okay, we are using a solvent based ink which is used for wooden panels. See now we have blemishes because of the roughness of the wood. See a clear blemish there. That's due to the roughness of the wood. That's due to the roughness of the wood. It's too rough, so we won't get any ink penetration. So the smoother the surface, the better the printing quality. Here we have a smoother wood, which is giving us a better finish. To solve these issues, you can adjust your positive and open up your artwork, and you can thicken the ink a little bit as well, which give you a cleaner print. In order to adjust the artwork, you have to adjust your positive and open up the image as well, so you have a wider uh, setting on the, your image. So it's, it's a clear print, and then once you print it, it will close to a size that you require. So w once you have a solid area, and you have a negative and positive, because of the solid area, it tends to close more. So what you have to do is open up the artwork a little more to accommodate for the ink saturation. This here has now been printed on a digital printer which has advantages and disadvantages compared to your screen printing. On a digital printer you've got flat surfaces which is more applicable for printing and you're getting finer details as opposed to screen printing where screen printing you can lose some of your details. On the screen printing process it's better to print larger substrates with larger print areas and you can have a larger volume to print as well. The difference between the speed of the machine as opposed to manually printing and screen printing, you get a bit tiring as well. Whereas your digital screen printer prints continuously. Uh, with your screen printing you can print larger substrates like banners, uh, umbrellas, large boxes as well. So with your digital you very restrict to very flat items and a smaller height item as well. You can do some uh, round item as like bottles as well on digital printing. So the digital printing is mostly for your hard substrates as opposed to your steam printing where you can print onto your cotton fabrics, uh, wood panels, steel panels, as well as other variable different type of materials as well. You can do fleece as well as wool. So on the screen printing you are flexible to use different substrates as opposed to your digital printing. We are now going to be in the screen stripping department. We are going to reclaim the screens and clear up all emulsion to be ready prepared to be reused. Uh, this is the screen washer department. To wash the screens. Okay, as a calf, the screen is very important. Thank you. 
leave it flat for five minutes so that the chemical can penetrate through the screens. The skin has now been cleaned using a special stripping chemical to strip away all the emulsion. It now it's prepped and I'm still have a little bit of ghosting which can be cleaned with a different chemical to remove all the ghosting and all the ink residues that have been left behind. That's a secondary process which can achieve a clean screen. Here we have a screen which we have now stuck our positive onto. Skin has been coated with faulty emulsion, which is very light sensitive, which will now be exposed on an exposing machine. has now been exposed and to be now developed by washing out of water.